Hey, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the seventh episode from The Rings of Power from Season 1. This is The Eye. Yeah, so it's like, is this some all-seeing eye? Is this the Eye of Sauron? What, what eye are we talking about? Thoughts on the last episode are on the back half of there. The whole episode was a big fucking throwdown between Adar and uh, the Tower of Asteria, the people there. And then that bled over into, you know, it's a trap, and then they're in the village, and it's the, they send in the humans, and then the cavalry arrives, but then the asshole gets the key sword in there, and <laughs> not just floods the place, but it's like, oh yeah, we're, we're setting off a cataclysmic fucking event. At the end, all the fire, the ash, you know, all that meteora fucking ejecta and debris just rolled over them, cut the black, what the hell. This is the second to the last episode of the season, the penultimate episode, so saying as shit just hit the fan at the end of last episode, this has got to be, I expect the pace, the tone, I expect it to be just as crazy and a little on the darker side, all things considered. Oh yeah, there's also all the other storylines, you know, uh, <laughs> Poppy and Meteor Man, and then there's Durin and Elrond. I want to see what they're up to as well, but obviously shit just blew up. Most curious about that. Okay, no more rambling, let's get into it. This is the seventh episode from season one entitled The Eye. Here we go. Yeah, right back there. Ash and soot. Now, any anytime I see an ash laden body is some soot covered body. I just think about that woman. I think she just died uh, not too long ago from 9-11. Uh, the, the dust lady and the footage that you saw coming out. Like, I've seen that imagery in, in other entertainment. It, it always just takes me back to, uh, to that. Sorry to be a downer going into things. <laughs> I, I need more caffeine in me. This is, this is literal, like, hell on Earth. Like, I forget which atomic bomb, but when it went off. The, the people who survived the immediate blast thought they'd been transported to hell because they had no knowledge of the bomb and just all of a sudden I mean at least these people knew it was a volcano or a mountain that exploded they had some some way to process it they could have gotten rid of anyone in this blast and it would have been legitimate are you hurt no. lucky kid dude what is this stay with me Is there ever a, a spot in movies, TV, entertainment, storytelling, when someone talks about after the war and we'll be together and the girl back home or whatever, you just, has that ever worked out in, a, in anything ever <laughs> at any time? Copyrighted music from the hobbits of the time. Just smell that. Quit smoke. The others must have started baking. <laughs> it could be the others baking. What happened? What the fuck happened? Impacts or a fire? What the hell? Speak of mountains to the south that could spit fire rock. Oh. He said they go to sleep. You don't suppose. Suppose what? Maybe he could fix it. Yes. Like, yeah, the last time they saw him do magic was Where's when he? he grabbed her arm and froze it, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> What's he muttering? Likely little words, so the tree will understand. So the trees <laughs> don't talk. He's fixing it. Just like Sadak said he was. Stay back. <laughs> See, they're fine. They just shouldn't have been out there. Well, it didn't fix it, but it, you know, it, maybe it was beyond fixed in any way, so maybe it didn't hurt either, you know? In exchange for access to your mithril mines, game, grain, and timber from the elder forests of Eriador. Big. For the next five centuries. Damn. Why should we trust any elf? But you can trust me. Help us. No. I will speak to my son now. Never trusted elf! The rock that lives within us hungers for the eternal, but to fire that all things must one day be consumed. 
and fade away to ash. Defy their will. And this entire kingdom might fall. Perhaps the entire Middle Earth. You no, know, that's what'll happen if the elves get, you know, fucking faded away. I am sorry, my son, but their time has come. If we reopen the mine ourselves, prove to them there's a safe way to gather Mithril. Say fuck it, what are you gonna do? He's more than just my father, Disa. He's our king. No, I detest it when you heap slag on my mother. Hey, <laughs> well, in your mother's case, she actually does have lice in it. I'm joking. You better you tread lightly. Inside scoop. Yeah. So do they make a side deal? Do the elves just fucking come forward anyway? Like, because we know the elves eventually get Mithril. Gilgalad must be informed. We say no more. Balls in your court. That's that's what that symbolizes. Whether the dwarf knows it or not. Elrond's playing him. They had to have had a magnet in that to make it stop where it did. Or they did many, many takes. Or it was CGI. Well, what, did you think he was bullshitting you? Why'd they do this? To make this their home, their shadow land. Is this was that the birth of Mordor? Is that what this is? We got two episodes to go, and I was gonna say, are we gonna see the fight at the beginning of Fellowship of the Ring, the recap that Galadriel, you know, narrates? We got two episodes in this season. The Rings of Power aren't made. They aren't distributed. The uprising hasn't started. There isn't the last stand of elves and men. Slow my roll, guys. This is season one. Isildur. And we got played. I, I live near some of those types of trees and they're fucking death traps. I can't imagine being on a horse and riding through there. Everything is a fucking spike horse. of death. Captain, where is he? Well, the the building collapsed, right? But we didn't see. Was he in there or was he on where there? Is my son? Nestled in his plot armor cocoon. I can't speak. It darkens the heart to call dark deeds good. He gives place for evil to thrive inside us. What do you know? Perhaps we can make one of you yet. You're not giving him that amazing ass sword, are you? Like, you can be my squire, you can hold it, you can clean it. Jesus, that branch was way too close. Oh. How long have we been clear of it? Oh, her eyes. Nearly a mile. I see. No, you don't. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. Low-hanging fruit, and I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> Swiper rings. <laughs> Only gray. Well, all I can tell you is... Half of folk haven't That's seen the Mordor the place, yeah, yeah, on the map. Parts unknown. Or maybe that was the castle place, but I, I remember it was somewhere on a map. It was significant. Sprout, out of focus, I see you. If walking out everything blooms, they'll be like, see, he was evil. Once he left, things were great. They're not going to think, oh, he did it. Should have just stayed on trail. I saw that star falling. Should have just let us alone. Helen, you tried to tell me, Mother. Yeah, now she's gonna seem deflated, and that's gonna maybe it's just temporary. But if she lost her spark, that's gonna that's gonna bother the mother. Have you ever lost someone close to them? My brother and my husband, Caliborn, was his name. But I believe the wise also look upon what is in our hearts. And this was not in yours. Yeah, grunty orcs is what that sounds like. Orcs. Why would you do that? We saw a close-up of him in that speech Adar gave before the uh, main battle. She elf and young blood. Nothing but ashes. 
Bum 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 Self-discipline, Elf. <laughs> Master Elf. What? I think that'll bring you success. He threw a... You lost on purpose. My aim was never to defeat you. Oh, just to get to close. To your ear. God damn look. it. Elf lies. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> son of Durin. Aegon, son of Aegon, grandson of Aegon, brother of Aegon, uncle of Aegon, grandson of Aegon. Elrond has a pick in each hand, just bang, 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 bang. Mother Vane, is that we got a good, uh, good feed here? Executes Elrond. Damn, we are thick in it now, son. It's more than we ever imagined. King Durin, there is a enough. Just look at it. She's the elf. I wonder, I do wonder though, if the king did peek his head in there. When your mother bore you, something inside you was ill-formed. But every night, I held you to the firelight, kept your chin up all night long, and I saw upon it the great gray beard. Our son would live. And he would move mountains! How do you expect me to move mountains, father? If you fall to pieces when I dig a single hole. <laughs> Maybe that was the test, like to the point to where you would go behind my back or go above me. Elrond is as much a brother to me as if he'd been fired in my own mother's womb. How dare you? Elf lover! Ah! How dare you! Squandering the future so you can cling to the past! You profaned the crown you wear! Is that like a disowning? Is that like a, a name idea family thing? Leave it. It's not yours anymore. Upon that George and Dave. Get the infection from the parasites inside. Poppy, it didn't really doing? rhyme. We have to save them. Why don't you take a look outside? And then we'll talk. Okay, shit is pop hopping out there. God damn. It's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory, but like vegan edition. Vegetarian mode. <laughs> he fixed it. Okay, good. Can we go get him back? Can we apologize? <laughs> No, oh, they're gonna get drunk. They're gonna make cider and fucking get twisted. Fuller carts and even fuller carts. <laughs> I'm extra annoying today. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's maybe big guy, right? Meteor man, hopefully. She left her bucket drifting. The short-haired elves, these mystical weirdos. Yeah, so they're obviously looking for the Meteor Man, but I don't know if... Did they summon him, or were they expecting him through prophecy? Because he seems like a malleable entity, and, you know, he's been influenced by the Harfoots to be, you know, helpful and good, and... You're going the wrong way! You're dead. You're so dead. You went that way! You're so dead. Why aren't you dead? Glory! Oh uh, yeah, let's talk. Let's 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 change our tune here a little bit. The, all their harvest and bounty and all their carts. Are you shitting me? Are they doing that despite them or because? They're trying to undo what Meteor Man had done. Maybe both, you know? I don't know. Damn, they had the best day ever and then the worst day ever. That was a roller coaster. What the hell? Cardboard boxes? What am I looking at? No. You're going home. Do you hear me? You're coming with us. Does he know his sealed door's out there? He, he feels his rider's pain, remember? He said that? I should 
never have pulled the elf on board. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought looked like cardboard boxes. The brown with the big blue stripe around it. Hopefully not. I mean, they just fooled us with someone else's haircut turning and it not being her, so... Damn, it's just a party. Can we get any more main characters in here? Okay, Illidan. Jesus. No one kneels in Numenor. You are not in Numenor. A fault that is. Mine alone. Our ships are waiting, my queen. God, you, you did this to me. Do not spend your pity on me, Elf. Save it. For our enemies. For they do not know what they have begun. Numenor will return. Then the elves will be ready. Like rededicated and harder than before. On your feet now, girl. Stand up. Let me gather what we can. Give us a moment to weep. Weep in me. Yeah, after. Is that all you think we have left in us? You got left behind. We're Harfoots. We stay true to each other. No matter how the path winds, and we just keep walking. Many different nomadic cultures, but you know that's that's an interesting take on it. To help my friend, warn him what's coming. He deserves at least that. Going off trail. I just hope Poppy isn't like red shirt material, you know. Not without me. Who? How many people want to die out here? <laughs> if a trail finder were to go with them. Are you? Brandyfoot girl was right to help him. Was right all along. What's the good of living, Sadik? If we aren't living good. Okay. Big, big turn for her character. Once, it would be grand if you weren't right all the yeah. time. <laughs> and the next episode's the finale. Either, we're all gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> well, there it is, shit. <laughs> you can't see him out there now. You're gonna catch up to him with his big strides. For 10,000 years. I waited. Where will you go? An old Numenorean colony, by the mouth of the Anduin. Pelage, they called it. I'm not familiar with that off the top of my head. And I don't want to read into it because it might be spoiler territory. Oh, I didn't even think about Halburn. We haven't seen him. Oh, fuck. I thought you had died. This wound needs elvish medicine. Can he write? I'll have the healers gather what provisions I can. That the question was, can he ride? It seems fate has in store for us one more raft. This is not over. We still have asshole running around, right? The guy who put the sword in the key and turned it. He's got to be doped up on milk of the poppy to be. To the guy who just showed up. To the guy who just showed up. Keep it. Are you soldier? I mean, it's great. It's gonna come in handy, but n no, you need, you need a sword, lady. The dagger isn't enough. Just because of Game of Thrones, now I think immediately the, the people in the camp start turning on each other, and the, the power vacuum, and someone's got to be in charge, and uh, yeah. <laughs> His mind too feeble. His <laughs> eyes too dim to see that no matter how many crests he hurls to the floor. One day this will be your kingdom. And together we will rule this mountain and all others before our time is done. I like her character, but this is a very Game of Thronesy uh fucking backstabbery and action about to happen. Kind of dark. I I don't know. I don't know. I might be looking into it too much. Seal it up. What's gonna happen? Did that leave? Did, was that a bad choice for him to do that? Balrog, you're goddamn right. God damn, that looks so good. Cast off your sun cloaks and your helms. You're no longer to be burdened by the day. I forgot when the debris and shit went through his no. building, we saw he wasn't chained there. It was very brief. That is the name of a place that no longer exists. Oh, 
Well, should we call it instead, Lord Father? We're gonna get that M drop, aren't we? Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah! Yup! Yeah, I like it. Ah, that was a good fucking episode. Damn it. <laughs> Why does it have to be over? But it is. Alright, going to the outro. Okay, episode 7, the eye survivors of a cataclysm try to find safety, the Harfoots confront evil, Durin is torn between friendship and duty, Adar considers a new name. Yeah, for the land. Alright, that was the episode, that was a lot of fun. There's a lot to digest there. In editing, I'll see more, I'll be able to pick it apart more. But the cataclysm and the after effect, you know, the aftermath, holy shit. These short-haired elves, you know, they're obviously looking for Meteor Man. I don't know their exact relationship yet. But they demonstrated their ability to be assholes and burnt the harvest. I don't know if it was out of spite of the Harfoots confronting them, or if it was just because it was magic done by, you know, Meteor Man and they wanted to undo it, or, or they aren't about that. Or they're trying to erase it, you know, I don't, I don't know their relationship yet. But it is good to see that a bunch of the Harfoots are going to go out in a group to try to track him down, you know, Meteor Man. But I'm worried that, you know, there could be deaths because it's a season finale coming up and you're sending characters off, you know, into unknown territory with these fucking asshole elves floating around. So, Durin and Deesa and Elrond, I, I like the whole exchange there and the dynamic with the king and all the Mithril, but that Balrog reveal, I wonder if that's associated with the Balrog that was defeated at the battle that made it that, you know, because there was a fight at the tree, or if that is the Balrog from Moria that eventually, you know, gets tapped into and we witness from Fellowship of the Ring. Yep, Adar has renamed the Southlands. It is now Mordor, and, you know, th this whole time in the back of my head, I was wondering, the Southlands, like, how did that play in the Lord of the Rings? Do I remember the Southlands? Did we see the Southlands? Like, the context of where Mordor was in relation di didn't click with me, but then now that the land has been broken, it has been made shadow and death. Mordor, good fit. Okay, that was a lot of fun, but I'm not going to ramble on anymore. Thank you all so much for being here. I look forward to the season finale and uh, hope to see you then. Thanks again and goodbye.